so I'm going to show you how we work on multiplying larger numbers using colors because with you when you've got kids that are dyslexic or maybe you're just getting started learning how to do these it's beneficial to because those numbers really get jumbled together um, we have the paper lined up this way I guess I shouldn't have turned it around <laughs> we have the paper lined up so that the numbers are in their own little columns and then you want to show us how to do it all right and then also we use, especially when I'm when we're learning about a new, like learning to do something hard, I don't focus so much on making sure that my kids can multiply because it's the process I'm trying to get them to work on. So we've got a multiplication chart ready because I don't want their brains too jumbled with, okay, I gotta multiply now. What was the next step again? I forget. So they're really just focusing on the process of multiplying larger numbers and what are the steps and usually mom's not talking over them okay nicely done okay I do want to mention mom's dad's homeschool parents. So what we do whenever um, we're checking it, whenever my kid, especially when we're learning something new, um, gets a problem wrong, uh, instead of just saying, here, you got this wrong, go fix it. Uh, I might do that whenever they are more comfortable with the process. But when it's something new like this, we'll take it line by line and I pull out the calculator and then we will do um, five times the number and then we'll check it. Okay, and then I put a little check. And then two times the number, and then we'll check it. And I put a little check. And then we checked on this one seven times this number, and we were like, okay, well, that one's right, that one's right. Well, this was the error. Because sometimes it's an addition error, sometimes it's the multiplication error. And so we were able to pinpoint where the error occurred, which I think is really important. Another thing I didn't mention is that um, frequently, when, especially when they're starting, I might have something to cover up the other two numbers while they're focusing on just the blue. And then have a little, you know, I'll use a post-it note. I don't have one handy, but I'll put a little post-it note there. When they're ready, they'll move the post-it note over one, move the post-it note over. Just so that they're really just focusing on that, especially when it's a new concept or something that's a little more challenging, like multiplying larger amounts of numbers together. Well, I hope you found this helpful. Bye.